and put on a video without showing my buddy getting his treat. Alright, um, let me get situated here. Paddle, get turned around here. There's a look down the river, at the stretch of the river I'm looking. You can see a big coal barge way down there. Right there going around the bend, but got a cool rhyolite point that's you know you haven't seen me find a point out of that material it's like green rhyolite i'm up by wheeling west virginia um it's like a p pennsylvania material it's a good addition to the collection you get to see what that stuff looks like i find it every now and then i also find quartz points up this way every now and then too but next will be my finds i got lots of broken ones like a broken kirk and i don't even know what else just lots of broken points i'll include the the coolest ones let it carry them back there's flakes and stuff in here i'm not getting a lot of material because i get you can see the difference in the screen there's a little flake but there's an artifact in here there's another little flake um i'm getting it um work down but there's a preform and it's a nice one it's got kind of a thick cross section to it but it's made of that green stuff that's not a bad artifact i'm on the board at least Later, fix. All right, I'm back from this short hunt. There'll be more stuff on this video. I didn't do too hot. Man, I found a bunch of flint, all kinds of high quality stuff. Look at this stuff. And, you know, that's a preform, and there's other work stuff, and some little broken bladelets, and lots of flakes of flint ribs, and you can see it here. Lots of this green, kind of translucent stuff, red jasper. But this is all I got. I didn't blank got a little and that almost looks kind of stemmed you can kind of see right in there some kind of little crude point or preform but it's kind of cool you know but there's the flakeage lots of cool stuff you can see it but i'll get back on my next one fix man that's pretty stuff and it's translucent later this is what i'm doing all my, this is a mixture of about 40% just straight river gravel that's natural to the river and all the bigger chunks are Indian fire rock but I've hammered this spot but I'm surface hunting it you know um, I find a couple points here a month laying out that I look at every day and the points are real nice but you just got to come every day to get them it's really picked over and I'm the one that picked over it, and I know what's here, that's why. Um, but I can sift around. I'm gonna go up towards Wheeling here in a little bit and sift on a place I've been finding a bunch of stuff. I will get back um, on my next find here from there, sifter, sifting in my sifter later. All right, I just got this. It's a real nice little lancet, like flake blade. It's got work on one side. This is an Amos site. It's a Black River cobble and it's got little spicules of fossils all in it. Later. Alright, well, here's this piece from the previous clip. It's called a lancet. A lot of people laugh and say, oh, that guy's just finding flakes. Well, it's a toll. Right here's proof of it. It's made exactly like these. You can see the little nipple on it there at the top, just like on this one where it was struck off the core. And you can see what it says found on all early human man sites description medium lar to large size sliver used as a knife for cutting recent experiments prove that these knives were sharper than a surgeon's scalpel 
similar to burins, which are fractured at one end to produce a sharp point. Um, they're valued at three to five a piece. I find hundreds of them, and I find them all on most of them. 80% of the ones I find are on Amos Point sites, and I think these are straight at Amos Points that have the barbs on them. I think the people were using them on a long, like, lance, like spear, an extra long one. And I think it had the point on a small piece that fit into it. And I think they took them off and the serrated edges they filleted fish with. They harpooned them and filleted them all with the same point. I, I see you swear on the serrations under, under the microscope that I have that you can see the use on it and it looks like from filleting fish and there's so many of these on them sites because it was a, a fishing culture and they were filleting fish with these you know it's sharpener surgeon scalpel um i could fillet a fish with it just this in just seconds and they're all over the set i'm metal detecting here a little bit you can see the old brick and stuff and look there's an old piece of a cast iron pot with like a handle thing on it there this stuff's old here. I've found three ring mini bulb Civil War bullets here. Like, it's a river crossing. So there's just all kinds of stuff from all time periods, from colonial. But, you know, I keep it metal detected down and it's been a while since I found a colonial coin on this spot. I need a water brief detector. I will if I can get out in the water more. So I'll get on that. But that's kind of cool. Right at all right, I'm back. I'm out on the river sifting in a place I have on video. Right here's a flake. Thought I saw one more in here, but I don't see it now. But I got a point. It's got a. It's a heartbreaker. I already picked it up. I think it's a Kirk stemmed. It's jet black. It's really well made, but it's popped off here on the base, and you can see the kind of angled base. It might even be something transitional. It's real ground. Uh, it's a nicely worked, nicely made point. It might even be a bifurcate. It's got a thinning strike right here. It looks like it might be a Kanawha stemmed. I'd have to see more of it too. I can see the basal thinning, but that's nice. It's old. It's like Kirky. That's a shame. Later. Man, I've been finding nice broken points the last couple days, but that's the way it goes. Check out this. Oh man, looks like one of them little reverting points and it's popped right down the middle. Straight down the middle, that would have been awesome. It's like bluish gray flint ridge. Look at that little delicate notch and oh, sick. Well anyway, later. Well, look at this fun. I just did one screen back in here because there's a boot going by and there was waves. So I just did one screen, look, a pebble with hematite with just a straight up flat facet right on one end where they worked it for paint. And it's just like tool grade iron. That's what they made paint with. You can see see that clearly. Look at that little facet on just a pebble of hematite. Wow, nice. All right, here's authentic Native American paint stains. You can see how this one is taking on that kind of crescent shape in there, like crescent moon. That's where they've rubbed it on something that was that shape. And that's for the paint. Here's the one from this video. You can see how it's a pebble, but it's got that flat facet on here. Here's how that's done. I spit right there. Spit works the best. And they started rubbing these stones, most preferably on a piece of sandstone like this. This is concrete and it has the same grid as this sandstone. This is what they usually did. But right there's the stuff. And look at the beautiful paint. Kind of a maroon color. And there's different qualities of hematite that give different colors. But it's all deep red like this. Sorry about the spitting. The consistency of spit works a lot better for water than this. And I think the Indians use, the, use spit. And you can see right here... A beautiful paint and you know you could do war paint paint items paint pottery paint arrow shafts just lots of stuff but you can see how those facets get started there you can see one and it's the same thing as this 
you have to look at all the rocks and see um, the oddities about them. Um, you need to look at everything because that just looks like a pebble to most people, but it's an artifact. And that's what they were doing with later fakes. You'll learn something here. All right, this is that place. I don't know, two or three weeks, three weeks ago, probably four weeks ago. I found all kinds of nutting stones in here from this big down to pebble size ones. And I found all kinds of different points here from like Riverton, Flint Ridge bird points up into Brerton and stuff and pentagonals. But I got something real weird and I'm clear up by Wheeling today. I'm around Wheeling, West Virginia and I'm close to the border of Pennsylvania and every once in a while I'll find a white quartz point which is more common over in Pennsylvania than on the river. But I do find them maybe one a year and I just got like a rhyolite point and it's like green rhyolite or whatever you call this and look look at all these little flakes in these screens there's flint ridge and there's river cobble here's another piece right here see if you see the point it looks like a pennsylvania point look here that's a piece of man there's these people these bird point people this is a piece of faceted hematite and it's completely exhausted um it's a little one i've been finding all kinds of them you can see how it, it's got all them things but right here's a little stemmed rhyolite point right there stuff's around wheeling up the river towards pa you'll get these look at that it's green rhyolite i think that's very cool not a, you can see the difference it's not as good as a material the points aren't as nice um, this has a little bit of water wear to it, but that's a cool find for where I'm at. Wheeling, West Virginia, that's a unique material too. But you'll see it getting over into PA, so it's not that out of the normal. Pretty cool. Later. Alright, I'm back for just a second. I, I'll show you some of this stuff. I find an enormous amount of breaking points. Right there you can see it's the base off one. Right there's one edge of the base and it's... Looks like it snapped off there. That would have been a nice little point. It looks like it shocked the flint. Anyway, later. All right, I saw this from the road. I love stuff like this. This is like a big old grinding wheel from like a flour mill or some kind of mill. Look how big it is. It's just, it weighs as much as a car, like a Durango or something or more. Look at it. Man, that's awesome. Wouldn't you like to have that in your yard? Holy smokes, fakes. Love stuff like this. Just look. Man. Anyway, fakes.